Well, in the wake of controversy over stock fixing in IPL matches, the government has finally stepped in by deciding to bring in a legislation to deal with the issue of fixing and betting. The sports ministry has started holding consultations with the law ministry to draft a new law to deal with betting in sports. Law Minister Kapil Sibyl met sports minister Jitendra Singh on Sunday. Sources have told headlines today that the law minister has already begun work on the proposed law and a dedicated team has been asked to look into every detail of this legislation. The first meeting on the draft of the proposed law will take place this week. Sources indicate that the proposed law would put in place an overriding regulatory mechanism which will end the discretionary powers of the sporting bodies like the BCCI. We have to make a different law for this and I have given it to my mantra. And we want to make this law more quickly and more quickly. And then we will take it to the cabinet and this will be मैं खेल मंत्रालय के सुपुर्द कर दूंगा वो कैबिनेट ले जाएंगे और कैबिनेट के बाद हम प्रयास करेंगे कि अगले सेशन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट में यह कानून पास भी हो well, legal and sports experts, however, believe that the new law must have a specific clause enhancing punishment for bookies and another one listing punishment for fixers. They also think that the proposed legislation must have legal definition differentiating betting, match fixing and spot fixing. There should also be a specific clause criminalizing spot fixing and want to maintain anonymity of whistleblowers. Legal experts suggest that amendments be made to the Foreign Exchange Management Act to deal with cross-national betting syndicates and the law should be clear on whether sporting bodies can be made legally bound to ban convicted players. It's not going to solve the problem for sure and I'll tell you what is disappointing that for a long time the BCCI resisted having even the ICC's anti-corruption unit up there. Then they said we'll create our own more powerful mechanism under the thumb rule of the BCCI. Now ideally it should be an independent unit uh, investigating any player no matter how powerful he or he is and doing so and reporting to an ombudsman of sort. Uh, they are able to succeed which they have so far to keep themselves away from RTI and just look at this. Every other national sports federation which is absolutely at par with BCCI, since BCCI says it's a private body, so are all other bodies, private bodies as well. All of them fall under RTI. It is the only sporting body in India which is not under RTI today. So therefore, it is absolutely important because sunlight is the biggest disinfectant to make them accountable and to be transparent in their practices.